So, if you look at this four-way remote control switch, you will see that uh, on this side there are three cables and on this side there are four cables. Actually, this is supposed to be covered here. We don't need to open it. <coughs> okay, so on this side, on this side, there are three cables, and on this side, there are four cables. Here, on this side, out of these four cables you can see that all four cables are of different colors and they are cut similarly at, at the end ok so now I will explain you what these cables are out of these three cables these two cables the red and black 
are the input cables for this device okay so mainly what happens the electricity comes to uh, this device first and then uh, through this remote control the switch is uh, either made on or off to the output cables so first the electricity has to come to this and then to be distributed to different switches so first the electricity will come to this device through these two cables and obviously the red is positive and the black is negative so these two are for the input to this remote control device and now there is another cable which is black and what is that cable? that cable is actually nothing but connected to this cable internal let's see if that is visible here not so easily visible here because it seems to be yeah, yeah it is visible here it is on the same plate as you can see it is on the same plate so it's just directly connected here antenna so that means it is this black is negative uh, input and this is the negative output or neutral input neutral output okay so what is the purpose of that neutral output that neutral output is actually the input for the electrical device for example if there is a bulb then that will be input to the bulb so these two are the input to this device and then this black is the output neutral neutral output from this device and then we are left with this four uh, uh, cables of different colors these four cables are actually meant for the input to the four electrical device either light or fan or radio or television or grinder or whatever so these four are input to the electrical devices that you want control through this uh, remote control switch okay so if i am not clear let me so if you connect uh, this neutral here and the positive here and obviously uh, I mean these four cables are the output from this uh, positive cable or the phase cable and uh, this is the input for the device and these four are the output uh, for the positive so if you if you switch it off there will be no uh, current here and if you switch it on there will be current here in all these four so all this a b c d these four switches are meant for all these four uh, uh, cable outputs output cables and uh, if you switch off say this is meant for uh, a if you switch it on this will be uh, here will have uh, uh, current if you off uh, then here will not have current and this is for the second switch uh, and this for the third switch and fourth switch now at this point we don't know uh, which color is uh, linked to which switch uh, which one is for a which one is for b but after testing we will come to know that which cable exactly is linked to a and which one is linked to b and c or d So if I am clear, so if we uh, connect this black as neutral and this uh, uh, color as uh, uh, as the phase, 
then we can connect to uh, one device and then the same black with another uh, cable as uh, the phase we can connect to another device and the same black with another uh, uh, output uh, through the switch we can connect to another device and the same black as neutral and the other cable as uh, the phase output we can connect to another device okay so here there is another interesting point that uh, i should tell you that is uh, i mean suppose uh, this uh, switch is connected to something which is carried very far so we don't need to actually take the neutral from here we can take the neutral from there when it is where it is connected suppose this is connected uh, at the ceiling i mean it's connected to the ceiling fan so uh, we don't need to actually take a, a full length cable from this uh, neutral point up to the ceiling fan we can take the neutral uh, uh, connection from anywhere that is available near that uh, ceiling fan uh, it may be from this there itself or from anywhere uh, at any junction point so that means we need to take a cable from here to the device and then take the neutral from the uh, local uh, point wherever it is available and similarly all the four so in most cases actually this cable this neutral cable will not be used for any purpose it will just be used for testing here and then afterwards when we actually connect all these device uh, all these cables to different uh, lights and devices then practically uh, the neutral will be connected to some nearby point there and uh, this cable will uh, not be used for any purpose it will just be uh, covered with a black tape and left like that so let me now uh, do a testing whether this device is working or not so first what i'll do as i told these two are for the input for the device so the negative and positive this will be permanently connected this will be permanently connected to this device so let me have this electric source and i have to connect this to so the next and this is this white cable on this side is the antenna for the radio signal receiver so this actually will uh, send the signal and this uh, uh, cable will uh, receive the radio signal so now what we'll do now we'll do a testing of this i have a small light here i'll try to test this on this light switch light so this is uh, the negative output so i have to connect this output to one point and then one of these outputs to the other point okay so so now i have given current to this plug and let me see what happens if i switch on the yeah now it is working so the switch on the light is on the switch off the light is off but i don't know which one of these will work so let me press no 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 yeah so it is switch d so as you can see i have connected this uh, green wire and the green is for switch d Oops. click it will be on click off click on click off this d is for uh, 
green. So similarly, all these four uh, will be connected to uh, each one of these switches, so ABCD. That we have to uh, check and discover. Now I'll uh, check another point. Instead of uh, green, I'll remove the green. and we'll connect uh, another cable maybe the blue and now i have connected uh, the blue and let me see whether it is working or yes it is working but i don't know who is of this is C. So the blue is connected to switch C. The green is connected to switch D. Blue is connected to switch C. And then I can guess the white will be connected to switch B. And yellow is connected to switch A. Let's verify it. Let's connect the yellow cable and see whether switch A is working with it. Now I'll remove this uh, blue cable and connect this yellow cable to the light. This is A. So as we saw all these four cables are connected to these four different keys on the uh, on the remote. The uh, yellow is connected to A, white is connected to B, uh, blue is connected to C and green is connected to D. So using these switches we can switch on and switch off all the four uh, devices connected to this uh, remote control and if you switch so is this one on all four will be uh, switched on and if we click on this off all four will be switched off so this is the beauty of this product so you can switch it on by using uh, the uh, control A, this one, and you can also uh, control all the four using this on and off. So this also works, and this also works. Thank you for watching.